Guess what action franchise is back, folks? The Transporter series. Let's see how this one turned out. Hey guys, thank you for joining the quest again today. I am your host, Marquise Underwood, and today I'll be reviewing The Transporter Refueled, which is directed by the same guy that did Taken 2. That should tell you something. And it stars Ed Scarron, who I believe was in Game of Thrones. i never seen the show, so I can't really tell you, but I believe he was on the show. So it's about Frank Martin, who's trying to save his father from these guys that runs this prostitution ring. And basically a transport mission goes wrong and he has to save the day, of course. And this movie, this movie is really bad in my opinion. There were some hints, some, you know, scenes in there, some action scenes that really caught my attention, but overall the movie, it just was not what it was supposed to be. Occasionally there was some bad CGI, like there's a scene with this plane and the car, and you could tell that the car and the car surrounding it, they were all fake. Like I could tell that was digital and it just, they didn't really like try to make it blend in into the environment correctly. So that kind of threw me off. There's a scene where there's like 15 people in a the room. They're like all within like five feet of each other. And like at least like five or 10 of them have like machine guns. And only two people get killed and shot at when the uh, fight initially starts, which is really mind blowing to me. You know, 15 people in a room, you know, five feet close at least. And only two people die immediately and some people have machine guns something's wrong with that picture the action scenes they were just terrible like the way the shots were edited it wasn't shaky cam but it was just like every time the guy would throw a punch it was like the scene would cut to a different angle and then whenever another punch was thrown it would cut and it was just hard to tell who was winning the fight and that was just really hurting my eyes trying to follow the whole action sequence and oh my god the product placement for this audi car was so annoying like when the movie starts with the title scene, it's literally like a scene straight out of the Need for Speed game, like a little car showcase part where you show the camera and it goes around the whole car very slowly. That's how the movie opens. And like every scene where uh, Frank is in the car driving, of course, you know, you show a little Audi symbol and then it just drives off and it's just so heavily shown. It's just so annoying in my opinion. There's also a really funny scene where like in the beginning of the movie, it's not no spoiler, but in the beginning, this guy just comes on over and starts shooting these people, telling the guy that he's gonna take over his prostitution area. And then like, we see the guys maybe like five, 10 minutes later, and there's like a little flashback saying, oh, this guy's the one that came out the van. This guy's the one that shot the guy. It was just like, what the hell? Why is this in the movie? I will say there were some good action sequences in there. I really liked this little scene with the water. I thought that was cool. There's this drawer scene that kind of reminded me of like some Jackie Chan type of stuff. I really thought that was cool in my opinion. But overall, this movie was bad. I'm giving this movie a D, a 1.5 out of 5. This is one of the worst movies of the year. Definitely one of the worst action movies of the year. I kind of felt like Ed Scarron basically did a Jason Statham impersonation. And I really would have loved to see more of the father-son dynamic that was in the movie. And for some reason, the dude got kidnapped twice. i never seen a movie where the same guy got kidnapped twice. So, have you seen Transporter Refueled? If you have, comment below and I want to know. What's the best transporter movie in the franchise? And if you're new to my channel, subscribe and join the quest. Again, I am Marquis Underwood. Have a good one.